sorry about that, babe. All right, guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Wild Arms. This is part 30. Uh, my second ever full playthrough, by the way, first in about seven or eight years. In the previous part, we pretty much went to Pandemonium, took down a bunch of bosses. Uh, the darkness tier started raining amongst Fulgaia, kind of ruining things, but luckily Jack broke it. Uh, we then had a flashback, we did a bunch of donations, <laughs> we fixed up the sweet candy, and kind of here we are. Um, I did a little bit of grinding. The uh, total time accrued might look higher than what it really was. Um, I kind of let my game idle for a little while. For probably like 25 minutes, honestly, I just walked away from the game. With all that being said, upgraded our phaser. Um, basically, I grinded for money. I don't think anybody went up any levels or anything like that, so... And it's pretty much that. And now, we are going to uh, set course for Arctica. So let's get that going. Alright, where are we right now? Oops, almost went too far. Alright, so is this where we're going? Probably. Arctica Castle. Probably should do invisible while we're through here. A full revive, that's good. Ooh, another one. I wonder what that means. <laughs> I think that means we're about to get into some tough shit, huh? Um, alright. I don't think I can get over there. A Mega Berry. A Neck- oh, we're getting like endgame items here, people. You know, oddly enough, I don't remember this area like at all, if we're being honest. Hopefully these are good items. <laughs> Hate wasting a duplicator. Secret sign and another secret sign. I mean, how many more fast draw techniques are we going to get at this point? You know? Like, should I be doing this on Magnum Fang? I... There we go. I made my bed and now I'm going to lay in it. What the? Oh, you're sliding around here? That's funny. Wild Bunch Arm. Uh, Barney a dash. Attack single. Oof, the hit percentage is terrible, dude. Hmm. Damn. There must be something really redeemable about it, though. Like, maybe it's like... A super duper crit, uh, crit attack or something. Ooh, we have another. Oh yeah, yeah. This was the uh, the way we saw it earlier. <clears throat> Roar. Decent experience, no Jella. He is what it is. Oh, more secret signs. What do we do, guys? I feel like this might be a mistake, but I'm gonna keep lowering Magnum Fan. <laughs> I mean, I've lowered it a considerable amount, you know what I mean? 
it's still a good attack. You know, if we're doing 1,500 to 2,000 damage per attack, that's good, you know? Even for endgame. Uh, I cast it invisible, hello. Thank you. Downstairs. Upstairs. Lucky card. I wonder if there's a save spot. Hmm. I feel like the more we work our way up, probably the closer we get to like a boss, right? I mean, there's always a chance that there's an odd boss in the basement or something, but... I don't know. It seemed like all those stairs, you know, there had to be something going on up there. Uh, are we getting a maze? I hope not. Do, 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 do. Keep going down. Possibly. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just do it there. It's fine. <clears throat> Should be running right now. But I'm not. <laughs> Super fucking long hallway. Oh, there's a boss in here. Alright. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're, we're going into something here, guys. Oh, is it just a... Uh, simple load screen animation? Lady Harkin. Rudy, Cecilia, I need to do this alone. I apologize for making you wait. I really don't want to see you like this if I can help it. My bloodstained hands will never let me go. Same for me. I can't turn back. Elmina will laugh at me. For Elmina, I shall use my sword against you. On guard, one way or another, we shall attain honor. Excuse me. I gotta get rid of this gum out of my mouth. Everything begins and ends here today. My art does not create or destroy. It's the essence of pure combat that I live by. Come, Jack, we shall taste each other's blood for the last time. Damn. Yeah, note to self, don't chew gum before you start streaming. Or, uh, recording. Is this all you've got? It will never be enough. Alright. Dude, did I not heal Jack all the way? I guess I didn't. No, I didn't. That sucks. Alright, Magnum Fang and Heal Blade over and over and over, right? Alright, it seems like we do have the ability to outturn her once in a while, so that's good. <clears throat> oh, she's using Magnum Fang now. That's not good. Well, whatever. Not that bad, actually. Alright, I think I might use Heal Blade after her next attack. Just to top myself off. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Depends what she has uh, up her sleeve, you know what I mean? Like, Magnum Fang's not that bad.
Hmm, I think I could still get away with uh, another Magnum Fang here. I think it's heal blade time. Um, yeah, let's do it. We should survive this, right? Yeah. see here. I think I'm going to do Sonic Vision and then I'll do Heal Blade. You finally look like a knight. Rip. Good experience. Another secret sign as well. Dude, if we don't get another fast draw tech, I mean at this point, I don't think it matters. I should just keep dumping it into that one move. You know what I'm saying? What is this light? You still don't get it, do you? This is the light from your heart. The light of the absolute power. It's the power to go beyond yourself in order to protect the ones we love. That is the light of your new courage. Please, save your strength. Please don't talk. Many precious things have slipped through your fingers. You are now glowing with courage. It's stronger than... Elmina, open your eyes! Here are a few words for you from the dead. I don't care how boring or terrible things get. Protect this world. The world that provided for us to meet. I... I will not use my power for revenge. I'll use my blade to... The lion idol explodes from the light. Oh shit. I am the guardian of courage. The death of the demon knight and the cry of the human warrior summoned me to fill Gaia once again. Call my name for the sake of courage and you shall rise above yourself. Yo, it's probably going to be a sick rune for uh, Jack, I'm assuming. I hope so, anyway. Jack, I I'm okay. Let me fight with you, for the sake of Fulgaia. She taught me that there are things in this world worth protecting. And I don't think there's anything else to do here, right? I don't know, maybe there is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. Courage rune. Yeah. What's with these, uh, very, like... Oh. I mean, that drastically lowers her sorcery, but everything else goes up. That's tough. Oh, there we go. I guess it's meant for Rudy. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Alright, let's top ourselves off. I didn't even notice this door at first. What is this? Oops. Oh my god. Boom getter? The fuck is a boom getter? A thingamajig? Alright. Let's find the boom getter down here. Boom getter. Protector for the left hand. You can't wear it? Shit. I, I like having the goat dolls though, you know what I mean? Just in case. Plus the force scene is really good, but hmm. I don't know, that seems like a pretty big buff. I guess we could check it out. I don't know, sometimes I feel like like raw defense power and stuff in this game is kind of meh. I could be completely wrong, but I don't know. All right, let's continue on here. We got another door. Alright, so let's see we're going back up. Oh shit. The powers of the Guardians are going berserk inside the teardrop. They're trying to tell us something. T 
tears of darkness fell on the land. The damage to the ray line was temporary. Sh I didn't even get to finish that. The tower hidden deep within the ocean was detected by Siegfried. I hate when games do that, dude. The whole... Ugh. The technology that reached the skies a thousand years ago, there was res residential colonies in orbit around the planet. In those days, humans and Aluz lived together. That's Ka Dingle, huh? The gigantic mechanism Ka Dingle connects to the land of the colony. I'm all flustered now, goddammit. Dude, the whole game's been, like, mad slow with the text, and then out of nowhere they're like, Okay, let's speed this shit up. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. This music's pretty epic, though. It's like a fucking Dark Souls song or something. There it is. Cod Dingleberry. Cod Dingle, the power deemed too uncontrollable to use by the Guardian... Oh my god. It was awakened through time and space to show its face once again. Fuck you guys. Go back in time and fix that. Why did you make the text scroll so fast out of nowhere? The entire game is not like that. That is so stupid. And I couldn't control it. It was auto-scroll. Anyway, we get the picture. Cod Dingle is now unearthed in. It's exactly where I thought it would be. And we have to use the golem, right? To walk across? I believe so. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, I think that... For the most part, we might be able to get there now, but there are a couple things that I know that we have to uh, check back upon. Also, um, the guide recommended for me to not pick up the duplicators, or excuse me, the duplicator doors. But honestly, the fact that I can move Magnum Fang down that low makes me pretty happy. So, I'm standing by my uh, my decision. <laughs> um, all right. First things first, guys, we're gonna go back to Baskar. Ooh, it's not... Okay, I was gonna say. Remember that one area that, like, nothing happened every single time we tried to do it? I'm pretty sure things can happen now. So. Oopsies. Is Zephyr really going to answer our plea? We need hope in order to survive this dying world. Oh yeah, Zephyr's got me now. Raftina and Justine's runes radiate a dazzling light. Even our light doesn't reach him. If we give up now, we'll have no future. Rudy! What do you think you're doing? Are you trying to open the path to the future with the light from your heart? You an artificial being, an artificial heart cannot bring a bright future. You cannot call the future wind. Why do you still seek the future of Philgaia? How can you do that? You're all alone in this world. You are a stranger who does not belong anywhere. How could you try to open the future to this world? Can you believe in dreams? You never gave up. As long as you have that spirit, you'll always be right for this world. It is because of you, Rudy, that we're able to believe in the future. Please don't think that you don't belong in this world. We need you in this world. The light from the artificial heart is reaching the future. No way. But wait, this brightness really is... the light of hope. The dragon idol shatters into pieces. Oh. Zephyr. I am the guardian of hope. The light from the heart that people have lost. Rudy, your heart is not of nature. Yet its light woke me. If you believe in the future, then use my powers to fight in the name of hope. Hell yeah, brother. Cool. Alright. Now let's see who's actually good with it or not. <laughs> uh, so that lowers that. There we go, we got our answer. It's weird because every time like you think that the rune is gonna be best for somebody it ends up being better for somebody else I don't know. It's kind of strange to me. I guess but <clears throat> Okie doke um, Let's save in case we get another freaking game freeze for no reason I'm a little triggered by that at the moment And our next stop is um <clears throat> We're gonna go get another rune East of Saint Centaur. So 
but actually, here's what I'm thinking. We'll warp to Saint Centaur, right? Centaur. Keep saying Centaur. I'm you gotta excuse me there, people, alright? Centaur! Centaur! Um, I need to rest up. That's for sure. Oh, fucking hell, dude. I forgot there's enemies here. <laughs> uh, they never fucking repaired that place, huh? Well, you know what? We're just gonna throw caution to the wind and just go for it. I don't think there's a fight coming up, so. Wait a minute, not this place, right? Apply the ancient altar east of St. Centaur. Nah, we already went here. And that's the Alu Pyramid? Let me see. Oh, uh, I wonder if it's on... Well, no, this is Arctica, isn't it? Hmm. Why do the ancient altar east of St. Centaur? Centaur. Where are we right now? I did not mean to do that. There's a sweet can. Oh, is it over here? Probably, right? Like, why would this be here? Yep. There we go. Oh no, are we gonna need a duplicator? We only got one left. Oh. This glitter is my power. The glitter of the Guardian of Swords that possesses the cutting light and the power to defeat the demons. I will provide you, Sorceress and Fighter, the Strike of Equitus. A sword strike that will sever the evil away from you. Sword Rune. Watch, the Sword Rune somehow better for Cecilia. That would make no sense, but I would, you know. Okay, it's not, actually. Thank goodness. Alright, that lowers a lot of stuff, but... God damn, that makes the attack power and stuff high. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. I might give it to Rudy. I don't know if that's the right move. Probably isn't. But this is what we're gonna do. Oh my god. So I took a peek at the guide. It's telling me to go back to Adelaide. And... I... They want fucking 100,000 as a donation. But we get a, a Dispelato? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Jesus. We don't even have the money, so... What is the Dispelato? I don't remember. Wild Arms, this Bellato. <laughs> oh, it's for a... Hmm. I guess, ultimately, it leads you to a better rune for Cecilia. Damn, dude. Well, that is what we call optional content. Hmm. Yeah, guys, it looks like we're on a uh, warpath to Ka Dingle. So, pretty much, we have the Ancient Arena. We have the Dispelato thing, which I can't even afford right now. Uh, and then we have the whole Cod Dingle. So I'm wondering, can I initiate the Cod Dingle fight to get the thing from Boomerang? And then go... Yeah, 
I think I'm gonna do that. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'm gonna go initiate the Cod Dingle stuff, and then I'm gonna go to the arena, and then hopefully we get enough uh, Jella to do the whole side quest for the uh, Desperado, whatever the fuck it's called. So let's do a quick save. I'm trying to save Jello right now too, so I'm not really gonna buy anything. And let's try to go initiate the Cod Dingle stuff and see what happens. And the fight won't be easy, but if it's anything like, you know, the first few fights, we just focus on Lucide first and then, you know, go after Boomerang. It's not that big of a deal. Alright. Uh, shit, where was Cod Dingle again? I know what it looks like, I just can't remember where it is. Uh, I think it was somewhere down here, right? Right here, I think. Yep. So we land. And then we use the ocarina. What? There we go. And now let's see if we could take care of business against Boomerang, so we could then go do stuff at the Ancient Arena. I knew if I waited here, you'd eventually come. Siegfried is after the new moon, called Malduk. This is the dimensional elevator, Ka Dingle, which leads to the space colony. Why are you telling us this? What do you want? Malduk is a colony that existed 1,000 years ago that has the capability to attack Filgaia. It's easy to guess what Siegfried plans to do with it once he acquires it. Now that you know, I'm sure you plan to head to Malduk. But there will be many people who get in your way, including me. You can't go ahead unless you defeat me. Come on, human warriors. Only battle will quench my thirsty heart, and I thirst for the fight. Alright, I think this is our actual last showdown with this motherfucker. Okay. Alright, let's do this damn thing. Let's do phaser. Start spamming Magnum Fang. And, um... Let's do high shield. Are they like Vegeta? Do they keep getting stronger every time I beat them, or...? Are they of the Saiyan race, these guys? Stay tuned. Oof! That sucked. I am going to try to high heal, and we'll see what happens. Stop ganging up on Cecilia, damn it. Uh, I had a fucking feeling, dude. I had a fucking feeling. That does suck. <clears throat> uh, I should use a lucky card, potentially. I didn't think about that. Maybe after I kill Lucy, I'll use a lucky card. Not now, though. Too early for that shit. He's gotta be dead soon, right? Or not. <laughs> Damn it. That attack sucks! Can we kill this goddamn guy already? I'm wondering if my, uh, my gear is, like, under... I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm not making any fucking headway here. Maybe I'll try my luck with twin orbs, I don't know. Magnum Fang. Oh, 
Damn, this dude's got tons of HP now. This is probably gonna be a bust, by the way. Yeah, dude, Twin Orb sucks now. It used to be so good. What the fuck happened? Why did it, like, it stopped, like... I don't know, it's super weird to me. It just completely stopped hitting, like, ten times. Like, I know that the attack power is low, but that's not the point. The point was, it would constantly hit so much that it would do a ton of damage. Now it does jack shit. Anyway. Now we can focus our attacks on Boomerang, and we'll use our lucky card with Cecilia. <clears throat> Alright, let's do a phaser, and right there, and we will do Lucky Cod. Can you stack lucky cards? Probably not, right? And I'm not about to, uh, to tr try it, you know what I mean? Like, if it lets me do it, I'm not about to waste one. Alright, this should be pretty rudimentary to get through at this point. No pun intended, Rudy. Probably do high heal. Oh, good thing we got that. Oh, I thought he was attacking Cecilia. No matter. Summon Guardian, see what happens. Wait, didn't I get that twin cast thing? I haven't even like looked at it. <laughs> A dual cast. <sighs> That's a long ways away, though. Guess I'll do high heal again. the new one sonic vision um i don't know what to do here i guess we'll just do a regular spell maybe try high freeze see what happens all right that's all she wrote this is i have no regrets good oh we didn't get any jello Fuck! I thought we were gonna get Jella from that fight. I have witnessed the potential of the human beings is endless. Go, go through here to defeat Siegfried. I like this. <laughs> A power used to protect something precious. Someday I. Oh, we're not thrust in here, are we? You have overstepped your bounds one too many times. Boom! We are finished with you. You will die with the humans right here, right now. 
right there. Go humans, I'll take it from here. But what if I want to leave? Boomerang! There's a transport device on the top of Cod Dingle. I'm letting you guys go. I'm not saving you. Remember, I am the one who hunts the perfect prey. Until that day, my friends, go now. Hurry. I will never stop unless I lose my desire to fight. Come, Lucide, guardian of desire. Oh shit, he's back. Lucide. We're gonna take a little trip to hell together. I shall return to hunt the perfect prey. If the humans turn hope into power, then I can turn desire into a blade. Yo, this guy's pretty sick. He's like Artorias or some shit. So now, allegedly... Allegedly, we can go back out and grab something. Yep. Saber Fang. So this unlocks a secret battle in the arena, from what I understand. Now the good news is, is we can go do that. The bad news is, is we didn't get a single fucking piece of Jella for all of our troubles that we just did. <laughs> Which does suck. Um, so let me think here. I guess I'll just go back to Adelaide. I will rest at the inn and... Uh, I guess top off our heel berries and refill my arm. I don't know how long, you know, the, the arena is going to take. I mean, if it's a shit ton of boss fights, it might take a while. So I might cut it here, actually, and then we'll do like a, a section just on the arena. But, yeah, we still need to get 100,000 fucking Jella. Oy. And I wonder, can you leave the arena, or do you have to fight all the bosses, like, back to back to back? I don't know. Either way, I think it's probably it's a little bit of a shorter episode, but probably a good time to stop. Uh, and like I said, at this point, guys, it looks like we have the arena. We have the $100,000 donation, Jella donation, to where we get the uh, Chrono Rune for Cecilia, eventually. Uh, and then, aside from those two things, I'm pretty sure we just go to Cod Dingle, and that sends us on the end game path. Looks like we fight a shit ton of bosses, and that there's like, uh, looks like you might come back to like Earth at some point, like regular, regular full Gaia. Not sure, though. Not sure. Anyway. Yeah, cool. So, when we return, we're gonna give the Ancient Arena a shot. And then I have to make a decision. If I can't do it, I gotta figure out, do I wanna, like, grind for it and waste time? Or whatever the case may be, we'll figure that out. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the playthrough, and if you have, please make sure to like the video, comment, I do my best to reply to all comments on all videos, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next part of the Wild Arms playthrough. Take care.